Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Apathy back here with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing episode four, how to become better. And in today, today's video, we're gonna be talking about spawn knowledge and map awareness. Now I got some gameplay for you. We we're screaming to rise the other day. You guys can see Slack Looney Samuel and Classic versus Study Me, Burns, and Merc. We're just fun having some fun, you know, screaming around. And I decided to do this gameplay because, you know, it's a great example of how I assert my dominance in this game due to, you know, seeing my using my mini map and just knowing spawn knowledge so right now we're gonna start off we're gonna be pretty much using theater this whole time you know I mean before I start this I just want to say spawn knowledge is extremely important when it comes to individual skill I think it's very important I think it's something we all should have you know obviously you learn more about spawns the more you play because the more you grind the more you're gonna realize oh hey look they spawn here oh look I died I spawned here they spawn here they spawn there we spawn here and that's the best way to learn spawns is by playing a lot. So spawn knowledge is extremely important. You know, it can it can be a game changing for your team. For example, let's say in your play and you somehow know they spawned there, and you get a two piece. And due to that two piece, you have now map control and you get spawns. It's it's just like little things like that. I think this is a very important thing to have for yourself individual skill it's extremely important so that's something you have to obtain you obviously have to play a lot and then also using your mini map is very important too okay guys so now we're gonna break down this play I'm gonna be using theater the whole time so I try to push out train now obviously going into this next hill you want train control you want to block out spawns on the left it's the most important thing immediately you can tell in the mini map which obviously that's all I'm looking at when I'm pushing something out is my mini map we got one guy going train, perfect. I have two people pushing down middle, and one guy's probably gonna follow up the train guy, which is perfect because that's what we need. I instantly throw an EMP. Maybe I'll EMP someone. I EMP someone. I immediately think he's probably at the wood wall or somewhere in front of the grandma's just waiting there because the EMP should no way reach the guy inside the grandma's. That's way too big of a radius. Burns pushes elbow. Perfect play by him. They're gonna pinch that guy over a train. That's exactly what we need because if we break that left side, we will get spawns. I throw a nade over just for the heck of it. You know, I know they're spawning 10. I, I don't know if I was trying to nade the guy at the corner or what it was. I'm pretty sure that's what I went for. But either way, I just throw a nade over there. I I see it. I spot a guy at the window. So I shoot and I just pray for a little bit. I don't want to get caught sprinting. I realize he's going to stay down. He doesn't want to get picked off the hill. At the meantime, we have three pushing train. This is perfect. I like pushing down the middle. A lot of my teams like pushing left side. Now, this, this kill right here in the minimap is so important. If they kill that guy in the left and push that left out, there's a high chance we will get spawns. So I know there's a guy EMP'd here. They went the big gun fight. I immediately pull out my pistol, check the corner. I would have had this kill. Unfortunately, I got heat waved and I died. Now, the bad part is that I died. The good part is they do have some left control. The only bad part now here is I spawned out. Now, immediately, I know that they spawn either back train or left side of the spawn. And they probably spawn back left. And let me, let me, how do you switch? And they did. You see, so the spawns pretty much. If you spawn, where where am I? I'm pretty sure it's me. If you spawn tin or backside tin or anything like that, they probably got the designated spawn. Now the designated spawn is how'd I go? Designated spawn is around this area. So the the most important thing was obviously they're pushing the left side. You know, you gotta how do I go up? How do I go up? Oh, wrong one. So designated spawn is this area. So if they were to get these kills back here, we probably would have got spawns. Now. Oh, hold up, where am I? Oh, God. So right here, I'm about to push out 10. It's my only play. You know, I spawn close. My teammates were attacking the hill. I realized, hey, I have a small opening. I could probably get there before they're even pre in 10 and make a play. So that's exactly what's going in my mind. You see Merc. Merc's doing a fucking beautiful job. He killed, I believe he killed that guy in the back. You see him on the floor dead. And he's holding the back. Now, this is so good. Two reasons. One, he immediately should block the right side spawn where I just showed you guys. So there's no way they can spawn there. Two, if we were to die, we should spawn on him. So right here, we're going to go to me. I'm going to push this out. I see Merc in the back. I immediately pre him the window. He's not looking at me. I pick up that kill. Now, I'm going to charge the front. The reason I charge the front is because I just killed the guy window. I have Merc following me up. He's probably going to go to window. There's no point of us to go through one window, and it's an easy read. You In, in Call of Duty, sometimes you got to be unpredictable. Like, if, if people can read you easily, you're usually always going to die. Cause it's fucking easy to read you and they're just gonna preempt you so here i'm like all right kill that guy window merc's probably gonna late late push it you know that's fine i'm gonna push through the window i have a pistol and i have kinetic armor so right here immediately go up i get shut down by the guy to wood wall another guy can't be there but now look where should i spawn bam i get the perfect spawn and the only reason i spawn there is because like i said 
Merc made the play. He killed the guy in the back, and they have no one there. We're the closest. We have two people pushing train, and Merc it's close to it. So therefore, we take over that spawn area, and his other teammates are all pushing up ten and middle map. Let's see, Sam. You see, look at Sam. How is there five people on this shit? Whatever. I, I, like I said, they're pushing ten and they're middle map. So that's where everyone else is. But well, yeah, our team has that left side control, which is what we want. So due to like, it's it's all about mini map and just and map and, and spawn knowledge. So due to me spawning here, I immediately know. Okay, look. Hey, they're spawning 10, they're going to be 10 and mini-map. There should be no way they're going to be trains, they're going to be 10 and mini-map. And due to the, them having the hill, I'm pretty sure I just pushed straight in the hill. I pull out my pistol, they pick up a two-piece, I'm like, alright. Study picks up a two-piece, Mer gets the kill in hill, that's three dead. One's mini-map, like I said, the rest should be 10 and mini-map. So immediately, I, I have somebody already watching 10, but the guy in the hill, it's it's kind of hard. I'd rather I watch it, especially since he's ready in hill, he can watch out middle. So I throw EP in there, throw nade. And I just start watching it. But, oh, I think, um, somebody in the back said he had it. So, who is this in the back? I'm pretty sure it's Study. Yeah, Study said he had 10. I, get, I, I watched it with him for 5 seconds. There's 19 seconds left. I'm like, okay, I'm going to push out here. So, right here, I push out. Uh, obviously, I'm going to know they're middle. And, and now they're starting to push trains because that's a new hill. And I get the kill, Elbow. And I try to get this kill. I should have had him, but I don't know. Whatever. It's Call of Duty, man. And this is the kind of the spawn you want for this hill. I I wait. You guys saw I'll wait the second out. Because if I go in immediately, it gives... Alright, so... I don't, wanna, I don't want you guys to think like I'm a fucking genius. But I'm pretty damn good at Call of Duty. And I know what the fuck I'm doing. And I'm pretty, uh... I guess unorthodox. I have my own way of thinking. So here, just one second left. Now, this is what I do a lot. I'm not... The reason I don't go on the hill right away is because, one, it's one second. What's... If I wait one second, like... All right, the other team... Let's go to the other team. Where are they? All right, he's, he's EMP'd. They're all pushed up. They all think we're there, obviously. Now, the reason this play is so good is because I have a teammate spawned with me, and I'm here, too. Now, we might have two pushed up. But they don't necessarily know us two are here right now. They probably think we spawned out because that's a huge possibility since they're all pushed up. But the thing is, I wait a second. I'm like, all right, now is the time to go. We he gets a kill. This guy does not know I'm here. I shoot him in the back. I get traded. I'm pretty sure this kill gets traded right here. Yep, Merc kills a kid that killed me, and now we have now we have milk control. Now and we, I'm pretty sure we get hill control. I know. I actually think Octane gets a, a whole bunch of kills. But the, the, the point is, okay, no, we get full hill control. I popped a nice two beats right here. You know, I'm just fucking... But the whole point is, like, due to that spawn knowledge and due to knowing where they spawn, it's just, you, you gotta be careful. Like, you gotta use it a, a witch for you and against you. You guys saw, I didn't hop on the hill right away. It wasn't the best play to do, you know. It, it was just smarter for me to wait that second. Make them think maybe we got split spawn. Control mill because you want that spawn. You want that left spawn. It's really good. Right here, push out. Just because we have so much map control, I'm pushing out. You know, I'm slaying. I'm doing a great job at that. And there's only 10 seconds left. It's not a big deal. But, it, like, this whole game, like, what's really important you guys understand, it's it's really about spawn knowledge and map aware and mini map awareness. Like, if you have that, that's going to help you tremendously. Like, it's going to help you play better. It's going to help you anticipate your enemies more. It's going to help you all that stuff. So, therefore, like, let's say if I already got in that last second, right? This is just an example. It wasn't that bad, good, like, crazy play, but let's say I would have got that last second. They immediately know, okay, there's more people there, and it, it makes me, like, it's an easy read. They anticipate me coming. So, they're like, all right, now they all focus the front. They all pre -em everything, and the chances are we, it probably would have come out maybe the same. I don't know, but the chances are they probably would have killed us, or the trades wouldn't have gone that as well as it did. So due to that, you know, it was, it was a better play. And just, you guys got to understand how important spawn knowledge is and how important you use you, using your minimap. Like, for example, here, I have Barn control. I killed the guy at Barn. This immediately shoots off a signal, probably to all the heads. People who know spawns. Okay, boom! They should be spawning terrain and tin. And maybe they'll come through bricks. Now we go to the enemy team. Looney, about to come through bricks. Octane, Grandmas. Slack, back train spawn all the way back train spawn classic from grandma's boom so that's like what you guys gotta understand spawn knowledge is so important 
And that's something you have to learn, over, obviously, over time, you know, unless someone goes through you every single spawn. Hey, if you come here, this spawn there, which no one's really going to do that for you. It's really all about just playing, grinding, and learning. So, uh, as soon as, like, I killed this guy, Bard, you know, there was no one else. It was one guy. Immediately shoot the signal, you know, there's no one else. I'm fucking Fences. Fences is a spawn, like, that back left, like, right right in the left corner of the minimap by the turbine, like, people can spawn there. There's no signal, no one shooting at me. Okay, boom, it shoots a signal. They all spawned out the other side. And then we obviously, okay, we all turn around. Here, you know, I'm trying to get this time. And it's just, it's just like spawn knowledge, guys. It's something very important. I try to get this last 10 seconds, they're all there. So here, I spawned out a uh, barn. Now, the only thing about this left spawn, there's a possibility this hill could get pinched from the right side. A guy could spawn where Merc is. But it's really rare. So now we obviously know, okay, they're all going to be 10. And they're all going to be uh, bad grandmas. So this is just a fight to the death. We're all fighting for the hill. And after that, it's just, you know, just slaying, slaying, slaying. We ended up winning this map. Uh, let me see. It, it was, I'm pretty sure it was a close game. I remember getting like three pistol kills here. It was a really close game. But the point is, you see, you see, due to this, we all know they spawn 10. We're spawning back left. They're going to be 10 and middle. It's the only two areas they can come from. Trains is immediate. It's, it's pretty much blocked because that's kind of what we're spawning by. So there should no way it should be there. They're going to be spawning back 10. So they're going to be flooding from 10. Or they're going to be flooding from middle. You know, I'm just putting them 10. Easy read. I look middle because there should be a guy middle. He kills me, unfortunately. But the reason, like, people are so good in this game, like, Formal and all these other players who are really good at slaying, it's it's due to it's due to anticipating your enemy like that's the biggest thing that's how you get a lot of kills if you pre-aim a lot of shit if you get a lot of kills you know it, it release pressure off the map it helps your team out and you just win okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this video i feel like it's very important people understand how important you know mini map awareness is and spawn knowledge spawn knowledge is something so 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 crucial and it's so good like i said not only for yourself because it helps you get a lot more kills but it helps your team out so much more because if you're right in the head, if you understand, okay, if I kill this guy, they're going to spawn there. I need to get this cut right here. If I get this cut, we win this hill. If you don't understand that and you're like lost and you're looking at the wrong things, positioned in the wrong areas, you can cost your team the game. And that's something so important. That's something that people, it happens sometimes due to some, some player not grinding, some player maybe not knowing the spawns enough. But over time, you know, everyone slowly starts to pick it up. Everyone slowly starts to learn. The more you grind, the more the more you're going to understand spawns. You know, there's like maybe Stronghold is like the map that I don't understand. I understand spawns, but it's probably the map I understand spawns the least uh, on certain hills because it can be a little random at times and I got to practice that. But other every other map, I understand spawns very well. And it's just, you know, that's something very important that you guys should all learn. So just keep grinding. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video, boy, Apathy. Have a great day. Please leave a like and I'm out. Peace.